Hello and welcome to Retro Tech 100. Now, for anybody who watches this channel, they know I am CRT obsessed, and I was lucky enough to find this Roadstar CTV 1020 Color TV Stroke Monitor at the car boot for one pound. Yes, that's right, one pound a ten inch TV for one pound. The picture uh, where I'm filming now, it really doesn't do it justice. You've got a bit of banding, and um, which isn't apparent when you're actually looking at the TV. Yeah, that's a bit better. The colours are a lot brighter on this TV. It might be uh, how much light I've got on the subject. Let's see. Does that look much better? I think it does look better. I'll just have it like that just for a couple of minutes. I was uh, I happen to have a job where I get to get around some car boot sales sometimes. And I always have a look and see what's going on and see if there's anything. And I just happened to stumble upon this TV. Now, I found exactly the same TV a couple of months ago at another car boot sale. I paid £3 for it and unfortunately... It wasn't working, I turned it on and it went poof, so it went in the bin. I should have probably kept it and tried to work on it, but at the time, didn't have a lot of time or patience. But now I've got this one for a pound. I do believe I have the remote from the original one that I purchased. So I'll turn it off and we'll have a look at some of the connections and what makes this a little bit special. So like I said, this is the Roadstar CTV 1020, and it would be originally designed to go in a caravan or camper van. The reason for being which you'll see on the back in a second. So let me just turn it off and show you some of its lovely, lovely features. So like I said, it's a 10-inch TV. On the right-hand side, we have the controls. We have a power button, TV and video to get to AV, program button, volume buttons, and a headphone socket. It's very handy when I take it to external speakers. On the back, this is where the magic happens. So on the back you see the label, Roadstar CTV 1020, 10 inch or 23.5cm colour television. Power 1, and there's the UFC frequencies. Um, doesn't have a date of manufacture. If you can look around, maybe we'll find it. If you know in the comments roughly when this would have been made, let me know. I haven't been able to find much information on it. There's lots of uh, eBay listings, but not much to do with manufacturer. Has 240 volts. And it also runs on 12 and 24 volts, which is very handy. There's a power button, and yes, it has a full SCART socket. So you're able to run a full SCART socket in there. I do believe it's just 50 hertz, because I do have a region modded Mega Drive. When I hit it at 60 hertz, it just goes into black and white mode. So it's just a 50 hertz TV. But never mind, eh? It's a great little size. Just blank on the left-hand side. Let's play a few games and see what it looks like. There's no banding on the screen, that's my phone unfortunately picking up um, the difference in frequency or frame rate or something like that. I can't remember exactly the, the terminology, but uh, let's have a look and see what it looks like playing the game. It looks really nice here, the colours are nice and strong. The colours could do with a little bit of uh, tinkering, so when I find that controller, the remote control, I can uh, sort that out. As it stands, if I couldn't find the remote, I'm really happy with the picture. Picture is lovely and punchy. There's no uh, noise from the internal speakers. There's no uh, crackling or anything. I say, if you've got one like this, a Roadstar television, there's a few different sizes. I know that much. There's maybe I think there's a 12 and a half inch, and also a box down to 14. But I think um, a 10 inch, 10 inch color TV is very interesting proposition indeed. And only for a pound, you really can't grumble.
Let me put another game on so you can see what that looks like. So for one pound of the car boot, I'm very happy. It just shows you there's some great retro tech to be found if you just look in the right place. This will be sitting in pride of place in my retro setup. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.